K, all done on the computer in the classroom. Come out to the CNC router, turn this on first in the computer, open up Techno, and you'll see that if I didn't turn the CNC on first, it'll open with demo mode. So I need to close it and then reopen the Techno file. Now remember, I have two files here. I go to File, I don't know if you can see all this. E Drive, on the E Drive, I go to my name. And then it was under the bowl folder. And under bowl I have square bowl 8x8 1, that's what I'm going to run, and square bowl 8x8 2. That's the second with the tool pathing on the other side. So I'm going to bring in OK. I want to pre process. After I'm done pre processing, I want to preview it. Oh, I notice here it's starting from the center. Don't forget that. I didn't do it in the lower left corner, I started in the center. And the title is also 8x8, so I know my wood has to be bigger than that. Okay, and then I'm going to hit start, it's going to start running. So before I do that, I put my board in here. It's centered. I want to measure it. Make sure I have at least 8x8. It's 9.5. Draw crosshairs across it to center the bit on those. I use pilot holes and screwed down the corners. I didn't use any tape because I'm not going to go all the way through but I have four screws I'm sure are going to be out of the cut path and the bit I'm using is a quarter inch flat end now. X direction. I'm going to drag it down until I got it perfectly centered. Key thing to remember here on the screen, I want to zero my coordinates. So I zero all of them. Hit start. Okay, I'm all done running that first bowl. I'm going to unscrew it, pull it off of the CNC router, making sure that red stop button's in before my fingers go near a cutter. I actually got this depth just about perfect. You can see there's a little bit of wood left. I'm going to, I could just break these apart. But if not, I could use the scroll saw to separate them. Then I put my second board down. Again, I'm going to zero it on and the center. And then, now this is the important part. I got to bring in my new file. So I go file. Back to the E drive, there's a second file, right? Under Schwartz, under Bull. The first one I ran was one, now I'm running two. And I even wrote a two on that board so I didn't get mixed up. So now I'm ready to run the second file. Okay, so here's my CNC part cut out. They're a little stuck together still, kind of a thin layer. Use a scroll saw to cut them apart. I have to fish this blade through the slot. This comes down, tightens up. It's a little too hard to push down to reduce it. In. That's about right. Yep. I'm just going to cut it out. The fingers never in the lap. So here's my four pieces that came out. The um, best way to clean them up is use a sander to clean up those edges. The other way you could do it too is you could clean them up with a router. You need to be very careful. First thing, you got to drop that blade down so you're only taking off just a hair of wood. And you need to use two push sticks on this. Okay? So, grab two push sticks and clean up the edges right there. There's the first bowl. Uh, after I'm done routing, I stacked them. But I, it's a little too top heavy, so what I'm going to do instead is actually get rid of the two poplar box and I cut a different block out of cherry wood and I'm going to actually stick that there. inside. I got rid of those two bottom ones, cut a little cherry scrap. There's my bowl. Only steps left are the documentation, putting it all together in a digital portfolio and including the photo shoot of the product.